Today I'm going to help you to implement an open source software in your organization which will help you to run the IT operations smoothly. Are you working in any IT department or are you running an IT company or are you providing IT services to the clients? IT has become dynamic, strategic and indispensable asset for any organization to achieve its objectives. And most of the companies are hugely investing in IT. There are many questions asked that how can we maximize the utilization of these IT investments and how we can minimize the risk associated with the technologies. Answer to all of these questions is good IT management. So what is good IT management? Good IT management is the best practices to be implemented in any IT department by any IT company or by any IT service provider who is providing services to the users or to the company. And these best practices can be used for self-assessment and benchmarking and it is also very critical. Some of the best IT service management or ITSM frameworks are ITIL and COBIT-5. ITIL or Information Technology Infrastructure Library is one of the most popular and widely used IT service management best practices in the world. Using ITIL best practices we can align IT services with the need of business to make the business successful. There are five major components in the ITIL framework. Number one is service strategy, then is service design, service transition, service operation and continuous service improvement. To implement these practices in your organization, take this as a project. So based on the service strategy, you can define which kind of services you have to provide to your clients. So there is an example of service catalog. So the moment you have designed your service catalog, you can put that service catalog into your IT service desk. Today, I'm going to help you to implement an open source software in your organization, which will help you to run the IT operations smoothly. This is one of the most popular IT operations software, which is being implemented and used these days in the industry. The heart of ITOP is CMDB, which is configuration management database, in which you will be able to enter all the information of configuration items. You will have the company, company's information there. You will have your employees information there. You will have customers information there. Watch my video and I will guide you about everything available in ITOP. So you have to configure your web server first and download the software from the ITOP website. So there is commercial version of this also and community version of this. So we will download from from SourceForge. Current version is 2.6.1, which I'm using right now. So you download it. Once the zip file has been downloaded, you unzip it and then you upload it to the, to the web server. The moment it has been uploaded to the web server, I'll open the browser and I'll open the address where it has been installed. Automatically, the setup wizard will run and I can see that in my wizard, it shows me some of the errors here. And these errors are that I need to provide writable permission to some of the folders. I'll go to my FTP client and will provide the writable permission one by one to the folders. So here, then I'll go back and reload the wizard. Everything is fine. Click continue and I'll install it as a new ITOP installation and then click next. These are the components. I'll agree to it and click next. And now this is the database setup for your ITOP. If you are using a database on a different server, you have to provide the server IP address over there. Otherwise, if you are installing it on the same server, so localhost will be, will be the option here. After that, enter the user ID and password for the SQL, MySQL server. So there is an option whether you want to install it in your existing database or you want to create a new database. So both options can be possible. If uh, you are using it on hosted server, maybe through script, you will not be able to create the database. You can create the database first, and then you can provide the information of that database and it will uh, write those information into configuration file. So click on next, the wizard will start now. The login information, which you want to set for the admin, and then click next. Here, I'll use it in production environment with empty database. I'll click next here. Now, as I was talking about the configuration management, so the configuration management core will be installed uh, by default. Uh, so you cannot dis disable it. So CMDB will be there. Then if you are managing a data center too, so you will choose this option. 
and if you are managing the end user PCs phones and tablets too so you will choose this option and storage if you are choosing so you will use this option and then if your company is having virtual environment so you will use this too as you can see that CMDB is set by default so it means that you have to have the organizations uh, set up here locations and persons and team and if you are using end user devices managing end user devices so you will be choosing this option also and the storage devices so manage storage devices so everything is fine here I'll just click next here and I'll move to next step now these are the two major options here one is the service management for enterprises and service management for the service providers so one option is if you are using the shared services and another option is if you are using the mixed services so I'll choose the second option in most of the times so let us choose for the for example first option for the time being click next now this option is there for the ticket management because you are providing the services to the users so which kind of tickets will be coming from the users as I told you we are running this as a best practice for ITIL so we will choose ITIL where you will use the incident each type of ticket has specific life cycle and specific fields so we will choose the user request management incident management and enhanced customer portal and this no ticket management is there if you want don't want to have the ticket management system and only CMDB you want to configure so in our case because we want to test everything so we will use ITIL user request incident management enhanced portal and click next now here it talks about the change management options so we will use idle change management uh, as a best practice option uh, which will help us to control the change in better way now known errors and problem management also we will choose these both options and then click next here is the configuration you want to verify so you can verify all the configuration that you have already done the administrator account and everything and then click install now the installation has uh, started here and the moment installation is completed this window will appear okay now installation has completed and we will be able to see this screen which shows that manual operation is required and this is required for the workflow management which we will do later uh, I'll show in next video so we'll simply click on enter ITOP and we'll be able to see the main screen hope this video has helped you if it has helped you please give me a comment write a comment below let me know if you want me to make more videos like this so that it can help you to implement IT best practices in your organization.